Okay, my question for the day is, do you believe in miracles? If you said no, then uh, you're not going to like our chances in this playoff series. We're playing the Colorado Avalanche today, and we're 3-0 down. Two have gone to OT, one was a 4-2 loss. Hamalik, Sedin and Blake, Yaga, Rafalski and Sanderson for us, but... They're causing us some problems, and it's not necessarily the guys you would think will be causing us that many issues. Um, I mean, yeah, it's just been, been a bit of a train wreck here. They, they've got us in overtime. Whenever we go to overtime with the Avalanche, we, I always feel a bit dan in danger, because last time they scored twice within about a minute combined in overtime in two games, obviously, because once you score once, it's over. Uh, so yeah, this has not gone great. The, the players have all dropped off a little bit. Uh, Sedin has only got one point. Turgeon's only got one point. Rafalski's been really good and then got injured. Halpin's injured. So we had, I mean, we even had conditioning issues, which is just, I've, I've not even seen that much before. You'll see Turgeon now with only on 95%. You know, I have to keep him in because it's Turgeon. He's been our best player and... Playoffs elimination game. We've got to keep them in. The uh, Avalanche. How have they been in the playoffs so far? Sakic has take has got ten points. Ozilin's obviously great. Niedermeyer has been pretty good as well. Tange has been all right. I mean, they all look good. I mean, Tange looks unbelievable as well now. They, uh, yeah, it's tough. This has been tough, but we should have the beaten of them. We've beaten them. A fair few times this season. Can we check um, head to heads this year or something? We like filter by just the avalanche. Is that possible? We lost to them there. We beat them there. I mean, it's been pretty even. We beat them there. We beat them there. We lost to them there. I mean, it's been, yeah, fairly even. So to get swept would be a real surprise. We beat them there again. Uh, and there, I mean, we've beaten them more, way more often than we've lost to them, I think. We lost to them, I mean, what was it, 5-3 over the season? Something like that. That uh, It's pretty good, pretty close series of games, but over seven, we've lost three so far. I'm just going to go straight into the game and, and hope hope that this is going to be a long episode and that we're going to win seven, win the next four to win in seven. Let's go. If they score here, I'm already going to be pretty depleted. Nabokov stops it, though. We don't look like we have an idea, even in this first minute. Smith takes two minutes for hooking already. They've had all the puck, all the, all the attack, and we've taken a penalty. Not a good start. Not a good start. Uh, dear. Okay. Oh, I didn't mention, by the way, I did actually switch the lines a little bit. Stemniak on the second, because he was playing better than Havoc. Uh Basically, that was it. And obviously, Kabbalah is in on there, instead of Rafalski, who's injured. And Reason is in there, which is not good. I need to sign better, more consistent centres, I think, anyway. Sedin, I don't mind too much being a bit inconsistent because he's a point scorer, whereas the defensive guys need to be better. Roussel is in goal for them. Oh, I just remembered that uh, Patrick Wah is injured and we've still lost. I didn't even realise. I wasn't paying attention. And we've still lost three. Kabale scores, though, on his playoff debut for the year. Stemniak and Miller with the assists. We are one up. We do need to win all four, so I can't get my hopes up too much. But I'm going to be—I am going to be bummed out if we lose. And Sakic goes straight up the other end and scores from Deb Marsh and Titov. Or did Titov? Don't I say it? One-one game. I need. Ah, oh, we need to win this. We can't get swept. Not against this team. Dandano throws the puck over the glass, and they take a two-minute delay of game penalty. Yeah, just not. I can't deal with. It's been seven games the previous few years, and we're a better team this year. So to lose in seven in in, in four would be awful. Yaga from Zidlicki and Hamelik. Zidlicki only on the power play because Rafalski is not in the lineup. He's been 
of rolling as our fifth to offensive defenseman, which is obscene, really, that we have we have too many offensive defensemen, but they're the guys who seem to put up points and, and actually produce good overalls and good good overalls, good average ratings and stuff. The defensive guys always seem to play badly, but I think that's it's a side effect of the simulation engine. It's the same on Football Manager. Is that a 5 on 3? It is a 5 on 3. I didn't notice that they'd taken the second man. And that's a good opportunity gone. We really should be offering a bit more going forward there. 2 1 game, though, and I'm. <sighs> this chair. Uh, I need a slightly less squeaky chair. Come on, boys. I just want to see this game out. Let's get one under our belts, and then from there we can build. <sighs> Kinnis scores from Berry. Berry? Is it Berry or Barry? I'm too far away from the screen. Berry, Berry and Tange. My eyes have just gone in the last six months. Honestly, it's bad. And they miss a really good chance there. It's a 2-2 game. We're not out of it, but I just have that feeling that we need to be seeing these out. We can't go to OT with this lot again. Not a, like, they, These two teams basically seem so evenly matched that we go to OT in the playoffs. Was it last year? Six out of seven. So far, it's two out of three. It's a 2-2 game here. It's ridiculous how often we go to the playoffs with this lot, to the playoffs, to the overtime with this lot, in the playoffs. Oh my goodness, he hit the post. They hit the post, and that was a really good opportunity for them. Now let's take that as a let off, and then let's go and see this game out. Let's take it to them. They've had their chance. Now let's go get ours. Blake, Sedin, and Stemniak out there, the second line for this game. Semniak I am actually a little bit disappointed by. I figured he might put up 50 points and be a pretty good offensive player for us. He's been fine. Two periods gone and we are tied. 2-2. Two, two. Come on, boys. Ah, Blake shoots over. We still have the puck in their zone, though. A oh, good chance here for... Who was that? Stemniak. He's got a really good wrist shot. I expect him to do a little bit better there. Shot from the point... Not really particularly threatening though, and they're gonna score here. No, they're not, but Reasoner is gonna take two minutes for hooking, which means they're on the power play for two of the last eight minutes, unless they score, which would be a worst case. We, uh, oh, that looks like a really good rebound opportunity. Four minutes left, let's actually just take it to them. A little bit, let's go, with, let's go at them. Because sitting back, we can't afford to do. We need to go and get a goal. We don't want to go to OT and let them nick this again. Two minutes left. Don't take it behind your own net at this point, please. You scare me when you do that. And you've given the puck away on the point. Break, boys. Break. Come on, someone chase that down. Who's this? We've beaten them to it. It's not. Oh, it's not an icing. We beat them to it. Klavuk beat that man to the puck. 100%. And they've, uh, they've given it as icing. Unless they measure it back at the, um, the circles, which is, I think, what they actually do. I don't know where in the circle. The middle of the circle? I don't know. He wasn't, he wasn't beating him in the middle of the circle, but by the time he got to the end of it, he had beaten him there. Nabokov covers the puck. A minute and 20 left. I can't... I can't deal with getting swept. Please don't get swept. Go on, Sanderson. Oh, he's, give, he's not managed to get a shot away. It's going to go to OT again, isn't it? Or they're going to score right at the end just to shut me right up. Come on, boys. Go on, boys. It just fires the puck around the ice, around the boards. Not really a particularly threatening play. Is that an icing? It is. I mean, just don't fire the puck from here. Take it forward a yard and then fire it from there and you're sorted. There's only two seconds left, though. We go to OT and they scored the last time I played them within 30 seconds or something. Time before that, within about 15. Let's go, OT. They don't do it this time. Come on, boys, we're in their zone. Let's pin them in. We don't, we're not able to. They clear the zone. And we give the puck away so badly. Like, who was that? Cavalier came in and got a point. Oh, come on. I don't trust this man already. 
he just he's what is he thinking? We do win the win the race though for the puck. Turgeon there to Sanderson has a good shot, but isn't able to find the net. Cabale get off the ice and never come back on. Yaga on the right. That's it back onto his forehand side. He's playing with them a little bit here. Turgeon to Yaga, blah blah. I don't know who's got it. It's going too quick. Holding the puck in there nicely though, and Berry takes two minutes for hooking. We go to the power play in OT. Come on, boys. We need this. We need it. We need it. Yes, boys. Sanderson from Turgeon and Yaga. We don't get swept. That's the best I can say about that. A 3 2 overtime win. And then if we'd have lost that one, I really would have started to have been question. Not a sentence. You know what I mean? I would have been starting to question this simulation engine a little bit. Because, I mean, these games are so close and they're a good team. But when did they finish in the regular season? 106 points. I mean, they're three points behind over the course of a season. I was about to say I'll go straight into the next game, but I'm getting rid of all this junk because it's just simply too much. Okay, here we go. We won the last game, so I'm not going to change anything. Housekeeper's not back yet. Are we all physically fit? Let me just check that. Um, yep, yeah, we're all fine, except for Murkowski, who's obviously not playing. Helping apparently is 100% fit. Uh, he is actually 100% fit. I was about to say, even though he's injured, but he's just on the IR. How has he played in the off-season? Two games, six average rating. Not really too unhappy with that. Um, let's go by form. Reasoner has played so bad. Let's get Halpin in there instead. And Chnovsky on the second. That's fine. We'll do it. That's all fine. That's all okay. Let's go to the game. Game five. Second elimination game for us. And there's a highlight straight out of the gates. It's not really a sign that I like to see because I suspect this is going to be theirs because I'm a pessimist. And they do get the puck from the face off. And they shoot, but they do not manage to score past Nabokov. Nine seconds in, though, they've already had their first shot and their first chance. And they score with only 14 gone. I uh, just need to go offensive here. I need to, I need to take the game to them. This is not good. Can't be having that. We can't be having that in game, in game five. But we need to win. Dandano gets two minutes for cross-checking. Good stuff. That's what we need. We need them to be as indisciplined as all hell. We take it back to our, our end though, which is a bit weird. I don't know why that's happened. Was it an icing as well at the same time or something? Weird. Plavuk to Blake, who scores. Sadim with his point. It's a secondary assist. So obviously that is, you know, there's a debate about how the legitimacy of that, but I think that's ingrained in hockey at this point, isn't it? Can't remove it because then someone else has got to go and work out who's got the most points in the previous stuff and all the previous records go and all that jazz shot from the point does nothing for us terrible pass but we do no we don't but they do take two minutes for cross checking again Matt Matt or is it Mattel I can't tell if it's an L I don't think it was an L on the power play shot from the point Zidlicky from Sanderson and Turgeon we're 2-1 up, and we've turned it around in this first period after conceding after only 14 seconds. And now we've got a 2-on-1, even a 3-on-1 it looked like it could be, but we messed that one right up. This is good, this is good. Patrick Wire is back in net for them, I hadn't noticed that. I'm guessing, well obviously it wasn't, he wasn't in last time. Is he uh, physically fit? He is 100% conditioned, so we can expect a nightmare game out of him he's been uh, yeah as I said a thorn in our side yes but it doesn't matter because Sanderson and Yaga combine again with Hamilton getting a point as well Hamilton I'm a bit I'm a bit indifferent on actually I thought he was going to be amazing just defensively get loads of points oh Dandano's taking two minutes for a delay a game again he's taken already I think four in this game unless it was last game can't remember 3-1 we are up though we can get another one here I'll be pretty confident 
that we can go on and see this game out and take it to six. If we, do you know what? What is worse? That wasn't offside? Or... hell happened there? We got scored on shorthand is what happened. I'm just trying to find a reason why. Second period, Hlavik down the right, and there you go, Paulson from Hlavik and Koki Malone. 4-2. I mean, I would like to have been 4-1 up when they got scored the shorthanded goal. Looks so like we've taken a delayed penalty because, yep, they pulled the goalie. Hlavik takes two minutes. Hlavik takes two minutes for elbowing. Don't know why my voice went weird there. Come on, boys, let's see this one out. Nabokov holds the puck from the shot from the point. Yaga plays it down the, down the wing, and it looks like Sanderson's in, and he does score from Yaga and Miller. 5-2. I'm going to go less offensive. Let's go normal. Let's calm it all down. Let's not go mad. See this game out. Don't go to OT. That would be nice. Then, you know... The worst case scenario if we win this game is I can hold my head high and say we won one game each in regulation up to the si up to game six basically I don't know what's going to happen in game six so but this hasn't been this hasn't been awful we've won one one and now we're I mean we've taken two minutes for roughing but five two up I have to be a little bit confident although I do need to not count my chickens before they hatch is that the phrase. I need to not roost my chickens before they lay an egg. I'm going to make up some phrases. That sounds fun. Uh, okay, two minutes and 26 left, and Sakic takes two minutes for cross checking, so we actually have another power play. See if we can score on this one and really see the game out. I think a four goal lead, I would be confident. We don't score on it, but we have the puck here. And what's happened? They all, I've never seen them just all shoot off the ice before. Did they take two minutes? I thought I saw it, saw it said Burroughs. Yeah, they did. Burroughs has taken two minutes for something. Right as the um, as the buzzer went, I guess. Delay penalty, maybe? So that's why it, um, it showed me them leaving the ice. Looks like they've done a pretty good job of killing this penalty, though. But it is, it is two minutes from the clock gone in a game where we're winning by three goals, so that's fine. Um, I've mentioned this video before. This is like this is sounds like I'm me being plugging my own channel, which is a weird place to plug. And on my channel is a weird place to plug my channel. But if if you like sports sims, I recommend like I think my favourite video that I've ever made so far. I mean my favourite and least favourite is uh, episode seventeen of my football manager save, where you can see that like having a good lead is never a guarantee for me. Basically, is what I'll say. It was, it was not fun, but it was fun. You know what I mean? Making it was fun. Playing it was not fun. Yeah, that's my um, my uh, I think the the pinnacle of what I've re I've done for, on YouTube so far. If that makes sense. If we win a Stanley Cup though. That would be the one because I have had no success with any of my teams on any of my franchises so far. My New York. Rangers NHL series, I, I completely tanked it. Um, none on the Kansas save, basically, up to this point, up to the point of when this is being released, I think, probably. None on the Edmonton save that I had on Eastside Hockey Manager. <laughs> I had none on my Barcelona save, none on my Grimsby save on Football Manager. This has all just been a complete disaster. And they do score. There's eight minutes left and Parker scores. Oh, my legs have ceased up because I've been sat down, recorded recorded three episodes in a row without moving. Oh, they fire the puck over with seven minutes left and one goal down. That would be starting to get a bit worrying. And they shoot over the, over the net and over the glass. We get away with that one a little bit and I just think we need to see this game out. Niedermeyer taking two minutes for hooking is a good thing, even though they've scored on us. Short-handed in this game. 5-3 with less than four minutes left and two minutes on the power play. We can score on the power play. I'd be very confident that we've seen the game out. 
doesn't look like we well we haven't been able to up to this point Turgeon though just with a little drop pass and Sanderson I guess wasn't able to score on it Sanderson scores there though from Halpen and Metalia with the empty netter he seems like maybe he's our grab now he scored a couple of empty netters in this playoff season so far and we see the game out 6-3, and who played well? Sanderson's got a hat-trick. I didn't even notice. I, I, I didn't celebrate. Didn't see the hats come onto the ice. That's the issue. I think they should add that little animation in. That would look weird on this. That would look cool, though. I think they should uh, think about it. So a 10 for him, three goals and an assist. Lovely, lovely stuff. So what did he have before that? He had seven points, so 11 and 10 now. That's good. A point per game in the playoffs. So I always think it's a little bit warped by having so many here, but they lead the series 3-2, and the Sabres actually go, and they take it to the game 6 as well. Uh, what else is happening? No, not important. We'll talk about that later. I need to just go to the next game, stop wasting time, and actually play the games. I don't know how long this video's been, but I've only been recording for 24 minutes, and a lot of that has been me doing this and skipping through news and stuff. The Kings are on the brink, and they do see that series out, which is a, a big scalp for them to beat the Coyotes. But they were the uh, the conference leaders, so it's not too surprising. And the Canadians are leading 3-2. Good result for them. Kings looking pretty good up to this point, 8-1-1. One, one. Canada beat France 13-0. That was a better game, so... Oh, my goodness. Look at this. It's all players that I've just like scouted once and then it's on my they're on my shortlist forever and I can't be bothered to remove them all. Here you go, game number six. They lead the series 3-2. A win here, and we take it to game seven. Now Brian Rafalski is back. How well has Caballet played? He has been alright, but I have noticed a little bit of not amazing play. Who's is Smith? He's a defensive guy, though. I don't want to remove the defensive defenseman out there. I also don't want to remove Miller, who's playing pretty well, obviously. So I think it's, even though he's played all right, I think the man who comes out is Caballet, and Rafalski goes back in because he's been the absolute G this season, and I'll do that. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, I think I figured that would be the case. I agree with that because I, I just realised I said Zidlicki was our sixth our fifth offensive defenseman he's actually our fourth Cavalier is our fourth fifth and Miller and Smith are more defensive guys and they were in here on the uh, on the power play which is not ideal let's go then just those minor changes to the lines look at the form on, on Reasoner Reasoner is absolutely not getting a new contract. In, that, in a million years, no, based on this performance. Let's, uh, let's go. Game number six. A little swig of the old water. Let's go, Rangers. I didn't even spot it go in. And they score early again. This is the second time in a row. And I'm going to take my uh, same tactical outlook as I did in the last episode last game and throw it all going forward and hope that we can just crash the net with goals and shots and Stemniak scores pretty quickly after we do so that's a good sign Stemniak from Zidlicki and someone else I think it was it Blake or Miller or Smith or something I didn't see wasn't paying enough attention Halpern does what Oh, it's a, it's a fight. Oh, they're having a fight. Yeah, rowdy fighters. Um, don't know what happened in the fight. It's a bit of a weird thing that they bother including that because it's two dimensional. So all I can see is two dots. And that's like, there's like, they put a little dot in and then there's like a puddle of blood starts escaping from the second dot. That'd be a way I could tell who won. Then that the person who's got blood seeping out of their face is lost, probably. Until that happens, 2D fights, I'm all good. We score again, though, on the power play. Rafalski from Yarja. And Yarja. <laughs> I've combined Yarga and Turgeon there. Yarga and Turgeon. I don't even know if Turgeon is the right way of saying it. And Debmarsh takes two minutes for cross-checking. We're 2-1 up here. 
And this is a very fairly similar trajectory so far to the last game where they've taken a fair number of penalties. And we have gone down early but managed to come back and score a couple of goals. Good shot there from the left. But nothing doing. That was the highlight. Just slowly rolling it back to Patrick Roy. Just testing him out a little bit. He's getting a bit old. See if he can still get himself down there and like his back still limber enough to actually bend over and pick the puck up. That's what we're doing there. We're just seeing. He was. He's fine right now. I couldn't do that. Don't know why I'm My back is absolutely caning me right now because I've sat like this. And I should be sitting upright. I know that my posture is not good, but I also am a bit worried that I'll drop out the camera. Will I drop out the camera? I can actually check now. Yeah, I do. I kind of drop right out of the top if I put myself upright. This is the benefit of now my new... Oh, goodness. We give the puck... No, we don't. What happened? I thought it was a giveaway on the, uh, on the blue line. But it looks like it was a penalty. And they're taking a lot of those bad boys. This new camera is a webcam, by the way, which is why I can check. The, and which gives me a little bit less versatility in what I can do in editing. But it means I can literally plug the camera in and then I don't have to do any editing or anything like that. Yaga scores from Hamelik and Rafalski. And with four minutes left in the second, we are 3-1 up. If we go to game seven, I'm going to lose my face. I'm not going to be able to deal with that. There's going to be another highlight here, though. So let's hope that we can get the puck back and score again rather than letting them go forward. McInnes takes two minutes for hooking. That might be the highlight, though. The highlight is that Blake is injured. That's not helpful. Let's go with Malone, Talia. And then let's actually get Hlavuk or Sanderson out there for extra time. Uh, Hlavuk could handle it. He's a, he can play left wing. Sanderson would like... Uh, Sanderson... Sanderson. Right. He's already getting a lot of time. But let's just hope he doesn't knacker him out too much. And I'd rather have him out there for just uh, the fir first and fourth line than the first and second or whatever. First and second would be too much time. He'd be out there all the time. He'd end up playing like 40 minutes or something mad. He gets a good opportunity there on the first chance. Doesn't manage to do much with it. Havoc shoots from behind the net and sort of hits the post, I think. We don't clear the puck very well there, though, and they do score a minute left in the second, and it's 3-2, and I, I just need to remember this is hockey and not soccer. Foot I said soccer, and I'm embarrassed. Sanderson with another shot there. Third period coming up. I'm genuinely a little bit embarrassed. I just said soccer. I've bowed down the fact that I'm playing hockey and I just assume it's all Canadians and Americans. I don't know how many... I should check that. I can, I can check the analytics and the, the geography and whatever on YouTube, but I just don't. It doesn't really matter to me that much. Is it 5 on 3 right now? It is, and that's gone. And we've missed a, a big opportunity there where they had two men in the box to just see the game out. We're still very offensive and we give the puck away behind our own net. Not idea at this point when we were trying to see a game out. We're still very offensive, which is why I'm hovering over this button here. Really? Barry from Landry with not, not a good looking goal there. 3-3 three, three from 3-1 three, up and we've given the puck away. Come on, boys. Come on. Oh, Miller's just fired the puck over the glass. Do they have game penalty? Seven minutes and 42 seconds left. Two minutes on the power play for the Avalanche. We kill it real quick, though, and that time has just died down all the way to the last two. Oh, Nabokov's kept us in it there. That was such a good chance. Come on, boys. What can we do about this? Who's playing well? Who's not playing well? What's uh, Sadine's playing really badly? Let's go. How's Sanderson doing? Seven. Let's get Sadine down those lines. Even though Paulson's not like an offensive dynamo, he's playing better in this game. So I'd rather have him up there, helping there. Sadine in. Heck. Cancel that. That's stupid. That's a really silly system. It doesn't normally do that. Sadine, Paulson, Halpem. 
Oh, it's because it's got Sanderson on two lines. Let's go Sedin, Olsen, Halpern. We can't really afford to not run four lines at this point in the game, but we can just afford to shift around a little bit if those guys are playing a little bit better. How are they playing? Paulson seven, Halpern seven. Okay, Halpern's on his best game in about six months, so that's good. We'll, we'll give him a little bit of extra time. That's all I want to change because Navikov's not playing great, but he's not playing awful. Going forward, we're not playing great. Defensively, we're not playing great, but no one's playing terrible except Sedin, really. So that's a shot from the point, and Wah holds on. Come on, this would be huge. To go to game seven would be massive now. Come on, boys. Turgeon, sound to you. Not again, OT. I've just realised this could be down to OT for the fourth time in six. We've split the regulation wins, and they've won two out of three so far in OT. I mean, would this be perfect symmetry going into game seven just to really see who can, who can stick it to them? Good chance there. We have 37 seconds left. We're still very offensive. I, I probably waited too late to go a bit more defensive. And we now need a goal to win this game in regulation. That was a stupid offside. Miller had the puck here, spun it around, out of the zone, and then back in. It's like me playing NHL 18. Sort your life out. Breakaway, maybe, or maybe, or maybe not. Goes to OT. Here we go. Sixth time. Sixth time. Fourth time in six games that we go to OT again. And we are just the absolute kings of OT, apparently. Us and the Avalanche can't, can't have a game that doesn't go to OT. I'm just checking out myself in the camera, trying to work out if I'm actually in frame. I'm just about all right. Let's go. OT, come on boys. We're still very offensive because I'm a wild man. And then on a break though, oh no they're not. Wolsey takes two minutes for hooking, that's good news. Because I was panicking there. A minute in and we're on the power play. Come on boys. Come on, against the right, this is just how rivalries are born. Honestly, if we win this one. It's a good opportunity there. They fire the puck wide, get it out of the zone. Get out of the zone. Oh, Nabokov's kept us in that. That was a terrible, terrible giveaway. Why didn't we carry the puck there? It was three on no. There was no one back for them. We had three men forward. Maybe we, we must have been knackered, needing a change. We've iced the puck, though. Man, Nabokov's kept us in that there. That was such a good opportunity, but then we had a really good chance to break away, and we didn't. Come on, boys. Come on, let's do this. On the breakaway. Let's go. What was that? Why are you firing Malone? Cokey Malone. I, he's on coke. That's the only explanation because he's just fired the puck at a right angle towards the boards. When he's here, he's fired it into the boards there. Come on, boys. Cokey, do it. Score from there. That'll do. Oh, I thought it was a giveaway. It wasn't. It was a decent pass. Let's go. Come on. Oh, he's not got the speed. Oh, this is too much. No! Oh, son of a bitch. Ah, damn it. Well, you know what? Oh, that's no. I was about to say it's all right. It's fine. It's not fine. And we've lost again to the Avalanche. It's one of those where we're so evenly matched. And so it goes to OT. It literally, like, we haven't... Have we had a series yet that wasn't decided by wins in OT? Like, it's been... Even on regulation wins. Man, that sucks though. That does suck. And the difference in that one, Patrick Wire, I think. And maybe we should have gone more defensive. But we just seem so much more effective going forward when we, when we go all out. Avalanche win the series. Devils win that series. I, wanna get, I feel like I want to clap. Just give them a round of applause again. We've done well, but not enough. Man, can I check the previous year's playoff trees? Uh, I want to check last year, ideally, because that will be... I didn't want to check the All-Star game. Yeah, I just... Uh, I want to check my previous years. Yeah, I can. That's good. Here you go. So, that is... 
one win for them in regulation and that was it like they so they won a, a seven game series by winning one in o, in regulation and three in ot so this year they've won one in regulation and three in ot and they've just won we, we didn't get as many in ot we didn't take it to seven the year before what happened with them uh we won the last two when we were down in down three two after five only one went to ot okay and to be fair there's only one in here went to ot as well but it was the game seven that was heartbreaking i remember that now against the stars i mean disappointing playoff run sure because i i think i figured we'd have enough to beat out the avalanche before the three games start but to to win two like that is disappointing to win two is good the third one in OT is just disappointing because we, we should have sealed that game. We had some good chances. Nabokov had some good saves, but Patrick Waugh kept them in it. A disappointing into the season. Let's, uh, I'll give you a very brief rundown of the rest of the series and whatever in, in the next episode. When you'll be seeing the 2003 draft, and let's just take a look quick at the NHL final rankings. That is, oh, Bergeron actually has dropped to 12th. So we'll end up picking maybe 26th, something like that, around there. So it's, it's not tough. That's tough, isn't it? I've seen how difficult it is to move up in the draft. Bergeron would possibly immediately be that guy who comes in as the more consistent center, hopefully. Maybe. What's it say about his consistency? Very consistent. He'd be super useful, actually. He'd be someone I'd love to pick up. And someone, uh, Aaron, I think, in the comments suggested, well, suggested, in, demanded Pat Patrice Verge, but Bergeron. Bergeron. I can't speak. Patrice Bergeron was our pick. And I think I'd love to pick up Patrice Bergeron, potentially a franchise guy based on his performance this year in real life anyway, just an absolute animal. So I'd love to pick him up. Good determination as well, which has been, I have been informed potentially accurately, maybe not, that determination is super important in terms of growth. So love to pick up Bergeron. Anyone else I would like to pick up? Ryan Suter's dropped down to 14. He would be a pretty good pick up. As a more defensive defenseman. Oh, he's playmaking defenseman on here, apparently. I always consider him. Wow, he's crushing the points. He's, I don't know what league that is. Eastern AAA hockey. I mean, it's midget hockey, right? It's not the uh, it's not the WHL, the, the CHL. That's what I'm talking about. Paris Zajac would be interesting. What about around our range? Um... Brad Richardson, Mark Mathot wouldn't be terrible. It would be pretty good, in fact. But we did just pick up Dan Girardi, so I think Bergeron might is the perfect guy. I think um, I think you're right, Aaron. Anybody else that I'd love to pick up? Ryan Callahan, Captain Kelly. He actually looks pretty good. What's he listed as? Defensive forward, first line potential. I mean, he could be a good alternative, maybe. He could drop that far down. Probably not, maybe. Nathan Horton, he was a decent player, I think, before a bunch of injuries. Um, okay, I mean, Callahan actually tempts me a little bit now. I'm just picking up formal ranges in these drafts. Uh, anybody else? I can, I can check all this in the next one. This has been a long episode, probably, because it's three full games. I'll end it there. Join me for the draft. Let me know who I should pick out of this lot for my first round pick. I think I have a second round pick in mind which is Clark MacArthur because he's listed as a five-star potential guy, which is perfect. He's, he's rubbish now, but could be pretty good. And if you can get a five-star guy with potential in the second round, you've done pretty well, I think. So I wouldn't mind picking him up, although I would be open to maybe not picking him up. We're going to have late firsts, and well, late round picks, basically. I don't think any others picks. Oh, we can check. Here you go.
current owner. That's our first round pick there. We finished. It's not ordered. That's just alphabetical order. Okay. It's also ordering the Mighty Ducks as Anaheim, which makes sense, I suppose. I don't know. Oh, and it's Columbus, Minnesota, and Nashville are down here because they were the expansion teams, I guess. So we have our first round pick. We have our second round pick. We have two third round picks, Nashville and Minnesota's. So we've got a few picks here. Nashville, where did they finish? Not playoff tree, overall stand stupid thing, overall standings. So we've got an early-ish third. So we're not too bad here, but I would love to move up for Bergeron. I uh, agree with the diagnosis of the situation there. I'm ending it there. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.